Good morning. We are just outside Edinburgh, up in the hills, with a farmer who looks after some sheep up here. Good morning, Alistair. Would you be able to explain to us what type of sheep you keep on this farm? Most of the sheep in the hills, whether well, it's either either uh, Cheviots or Blackies on the hills in Scotland. The sheep here are Scottish Blackface. Um, they're bred for hardiness, you know. So, could you tell me uh, what a male sheep is called? Well, we call them tups. Okay. A tup is a male sheep, but you know that in general terms, it's a ram. Okay. Yeah. And what about a female sheep? A ewe. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And the young sheep, we all know what they're called. They're called the lambs. And how does the farm you operate here? What, are the sheep down here all the time? No, they're, they're down here because they're in with the, with the rams at the moment. Uh, the yellow one, most of the year, this is a hefted stock and they, they run in their family groups. They'll run in a small area of ground and so they know the ground and if there's bad weather or anything like that, they know that they can, you know, where to get shelter. We've got a lot of sheep behind us here. How long do you keep an individual sheep for before it goes away into the meat food chain? They'll be born in the middle of April. The lambs will be here for... Uh, they start being sold four months, four to six months after they're born. They go in the food chain, but the, the sheep you're seeing here now, they stay here for five years mm -hmm. and then are sold off here and spend another two years further down the hill. So they've got a, at least a six year life, these ones. Can you tell me what your sheep eat? Is it just the grass or do, do you feed them other bits and pieces? Well, mm -hmm. this, this grass here is, is quite good by hill standards, but when they're away, out, away from here, they're away out on the hill and eat heather, herbs, uh, anything that's going really. There's very little good grass on a hill place because it's all wild grasses, just grasses that are there naturally, they haven't been sown or, or it's just natural herbage really, which is one of the reasons why hill sheep tastes so good. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, we're, we're talking about haggis production today. How old are the sheep when they uh, are taken away from here to make haggis? And which parts of the sheep do we use to make the haggis? It's not to do with age. Any any sheep that's getting slaughtered will, will do for making the haggis. And haggis uh, now is made of, of the heart, the lungs and the liver. That's what comes from the sheep. Okay, and can I ask, will you be eating haggis this Burns night? Without a doubt, we always do, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for talking yeah. to us today. You're very welcome.